right, gonna try something crazy here. Popping out these clips behind the seats. There's four on top and then four underneath here. I'm thinking I've got this extra piece from the first roll that would just fit perfect there and it would be an extra layer between the trunk and the passengers and myself and from my exhaust mainly. Okay, so I have these cut. Here, let me show you. Seats. First side I think was, I did a 10 inch strip. On this one I'm doing an 18 inch strip. 18 by, 18 by 17 and then 10 by 17. And I realized I couldn't really take these off. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding them underneath. That. I'm gonna slide this behind this and there's actually a metal you can't really see it's like a metal in there and it sticks to it perfectly. So I'm gonna slide that in there, basically like this, and then stick it down and call it good. Okay, there's something I'm gonna try with the trunk. Got this piece cut out. What I'm gonna do is end up, I'm gonna just do a little template and stick to this. I've already got some sound deadening material in the trunk. I'll show you right now. So I just wanna open this up, show you guys what this Noiko is all about. I've used this stuff in the past. I used it on my 2015 WRX and it works awesome. This time, however, I got the black one and I think it's just gonna look better, a little more OEM look than the silver ones. So basically, if you guys seen any videos on this stuff, sticks on your car, you roll it on with a roller, which I'll show you in a bit. I've got these rollers, cut it up with scissors, and you're just gonna apply it to your vehicle where you're trying to like get rid of excess sound. And in my case, it's probably gonna be like the trunk area and the back seats for right now, because I just wanna kinda cut down on some road noise. You can do the doors, kind of like show me the illustrations here. On the 2015 WRX, I did the entire freaking car, guys. And I'll post some photos here in a quick second. As you can see, so all those all those photos I did the entire card. The roof, the floor, the doors, the trunk, the back seat, underneath the front seats, the whole floorboard, everything. So this is gonna be a quick little mod. I'm gonna pull this stuff out, open my back seat and get going. Back seat's pulled up. And sorry the lighting conditions are not perfect for me guys. Not right now, but this is your back seat. Once you get all that taken out. And as you can see, a lot of hollow spots. OEM has this one piece here for sound. This is where I think the fuel tank is under one of these guys, which we'll get to eventually when we do flex fuel. But yeah, I'm gonna just try to get a bunch of this stuff here by the wheel wells over here and cover all this stuff up and maybe some if I can oh maybe I can't get under there I was gonna say under the floorboard but this side I, I remember I couldn't get it off perfectly from here so I'm just gonna kind of get to work and track the progress and if you guys can see this I've done the bottom of the seats here with Noiko, and I might redo all that later with more of the sound skin. So this is the inside, which is, this is the Noiko, which just does vibration, like I mentioned before. It doesn't have the foam. So I'm gonna have the foam on that other piece. And when I was driving around, I could really hear the exhaust still coming through the trunk and top deck lid area. So what I wanna do is even add a little bit up top here. Here's how it's turned out. So here's that top piece. So 
So this has that full cool. piece of sound skin on the other on this side with the Noiko on the other side. But yeah, it's doing a really good job. All right, some of you are gonna think I'm crazy. But when I did underneath the back seats, I was like banging on the seats and I could hear the gas tank through there. So took off the gas tank cover. It's just four 12 millimeters. There's this piece, and this right there. I'm just gonna put some of the Noiko deadener because I believe it has a higher uh, heat index than the other one. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a go. Just see if I can get rid of any of the extra vibes. I know I'm crazy, but just trying this because it's right by the exhaust. Okay, just to show you, I'm doing everything away from the exhaust. And there's a heat shield on that side of the gas tank, but everything's on this side, right by the wheel. So it's gonna stay nice and cold. So this definitely took away some of the knocking vibration from me just knocking it around. So I'm hoping this might stop some excess vibration going into the cab. We'll see. All right, here's what we're working with the back seat. It's a mix of Noiko and the sound skins. But I've got every area covered. And this thing used to be like a drum back here. And like I said, the gas tank, I would bang right here. And this whole thing would resonate like crazy. And now it's pretty, pretty dead. It's awesome. So it turned out really well. I cut out all the pieces best I could to go around any of the holes so whenever I do my fuel pump <laughs> if I go flex fuel it'll be easy to get to as you can see at the front here in Noiko all along the sides even like back back in here back in there everything this is an awesome job I'm not doing full coverage but enough to really make a huge difference and it has especially with that piece that runs behind back here my exhaust is pretty loud with the j-pipe and now it's pretty tame i'm not going to say you know it's close to stock but it's a lot more tame and I, I can live with it i haven't done the trunk yet i think once i actually do the trunk it may eliminate it completely but i'm really happy with how this all turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm gonna keep going on with the sound skin stuff. We'll be doing the doors next, the trunk, maybe a couple little other areas.